Hey everybody, I'm Adam. <clears throat> uh, I don't know what site I'm going to post this uh, video on, but I'm making it. Give you a real quick background. I'm going to try and keep them short. Uh, I'm going to make a series of these videos, kind of just chronicling uh, my life in my little microcosm of where I'm at that's flooded by the Arkansas River. Uh, my place is on an uphill, so I'm not worried about flooding, but essentially long story short, there's one road that runs along the river, and it's 10 miles long. It has two ways in, at one end or the other end. Well, essentially, my entire community along that road, sporadically in parts, has been flooded in. Uh, three days ago, my little section was flooded in at one end to where I can't get out, and to the other end where it was at, I had a four-mile span. As of today, I've got a one-mile span. So, our neighbors keep getting isolated from each other. Uh, I just tried to bridge a spot in the road that was, I don't know, 100 foot long, dip in the road in between two uh, small neighborhoods. And uh, it was about four foot deep. I ain't gonna do that again. <clears throat> so one of our little neighborhoods, when I say neighborhoods, we have, this is country, hayfield, rural area. Uh, very rural area and we're on the south side of the Arkansas River and when I say neighborhoods you like you have the single roads 10 mile long and a few roads that shoot off of them with maybe a half dozen houses on them uh, that's what I mean by neighborhoods and as of this morning uh, one neighborhood at the very end of our road is now isolated from everybody else uh, getting out and everybody else period and there's a probably four or five families out there and they're usually most of them are elderly folks but anyways okay so that's the setup so I've lived here for six years uh, in this type of area where your neighbors may be across the street 10 acres away but in six years I've only talked to my neighbors maybe six times uh, it, it, it's not that we don't want to talk to each other everybody's just kind of in their own little world so uh, I decided since we're all on an island now, and when I mean an island, my whole county, Perry County, if you look up Perry County, Arkansas, uh, it's it's an island. There, there's no way out for anybody right now. Uh, I decided I was going to open up a Facebook page uh, to form a group, like a community, uh, what do they call that, neighborhood watch? A community watch, and I went around and I posted signs on every uh, sign that I could get to so that people could see it and join the group. Well, essentially, I didn't know no neighbors, and now I know about 20 of them, which is good. Uh, anyways, that's the story of what these videos are going to be about. Uh, my wife is in a hotel room on the safe side of the river. A lot of people have left. Unfortunately, uh, uh, my place is about a half mile from where the river used to be. Now my place is about 300 yards from where the river is and a lot of people have lost their homes along the river and it's heartbreaking and they have joined the website and it's killing me to have to tell them uh, your home is underwater uh, it, it hurts my heart it, it just does but anyways we have hit a point here that the reality is and I know what the reality was going to be that the water's not going to peak around Toad Suck area until Sunday. And Sunday's when it's gonna peak. So I'm figuring at best a week after Sunday is when it might start to recede. Now I'm not saying recede enough for us to get out, but it might start to recede. Uh, with that being said, I've got the neighbors talking, and it's it's neighbors all up and down this 10-mile Stony Point Road, but we're in patches because we're isolated by water. And my little area here, I, I've got a, a, a good collection of neighbors. I probably have about, oh, 10 families. Anyways, I got them talking, and this morning I just broke out the question, you know, it's probably going to be a few weeks before we get out of here. What are y'all thoughts on it? Uh, that's what you got to do. I don't know any of these people. I'm starting to form a community and form a group. And I've done another video 
or post on how to form groups and forming groups. But anyways, I'm going to stop this here and I'm going to start another video. But that's kind of the intro where I'm, I'm at. We are essentially trapped by the Arkansas River. Um, what resources we have as people, I don't know what everybody else has got. They don't know what I got is what you got. That's all there is to it. Uh, and it'll probably be a few weeks before any of us, any of us can think about getting out of here. Uh, what else? I'll cover more in the next video. All right. Stay tuned on this little series. Bye.